Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Motorsport Manager. This is episode 17, and we are wrapping up our first season, preparing for the second season. It's an off-season special. So we've already earned our money for next season, but we have not yet gotten into car design. So I'm waiting to invest into the headquarters until we've actually spent on next year's car. Uh, one thing that has happened is I've had a look through the team, trying to see kind of where we're at. And of course, Vern is a really good driver. Uh, Ocon, not bad, not bad. But we've already seen that with a very similar car to Vern, he's still a bit off the pace compared to Vern. So that quality in the driver is absolutely a thing, absolutely a factor. And Ocon, we're paying a good bit to have him on the team. So I'm not necessarily opposed to breaking that contract. Also, look at the staff. Similarly, we've got quality, but it's not the greatest. So there is room for improvement there as well. Our staff is only 10th best. With the illegal parts on the car that'll become the base parts for next year's car, we have the 11th best with newly promoted Audi coming in as the underdog. So we'll see how things go. We're up to two stars uh, for that headquarters. We've got a long, long ways to go with that. But a couple things have been happening. First off, Ocon certainly could do better, especially at almost 700,000 per race. So I found that Max Verstappen is willing <laughs> to to deal and before i do it I, I had already submitted an offer and was like oh oh yeah oops i'd like to do this live anyway status number one for him that's a little bit of a conflict with what Vern has on equal status uh we'll see how that goes he, he might not be terribly thrilled with having a car that's not quite as good but for Stappen, cost per race slightly under a million two-year contract 3 million split buyout clause, full signing on fee, and full bonuses that were possible because that's only another 3 million. And basically, that is taking his buyout clause and lumping it into a single sum. Anyway, he's got 100% 100 uh, marketability, and he's in the young drivers program, meaning he's going to get even better. And he is quite a bit above where Ocon is in terms of quality. So Max Verstappen or nobody for this seat, and he does not have much patience. Uh, the only thing that I kept down at all or went neutral on was he wanted a short contract. Short contract would be one month. Medium contract was two years. So we had to go with the two-year option. Otherwise, he would have been gone before he even really finished and signed the contract. Uh, and the cost per race. The max was about 1.3 or 1.2 million per race. So uh, we, we only came down a bit. So there, there's a decent chance we could get him to sign, but definitely not guaranteed. However, the staff, I think we need to improve the staff. Uh, we'll definitely keep this race mechanic. He's pretty solid. But our lead designer, brakes and suspension are fairly weak, but he's good in the other departments. Uh, but also, look how affordable he is. 10, 26, but then 30,000. Our most expensive race mechanic is that also our worst. And we're not getting anything from him that's actually useful for us. So... We're going to look to replace Hoffel. Good on part fixes and performance, but outside of that, pretty weak. So looking at race mechanics, the best is kind of all you really want to settle for, right? Uh, Freya Coley is really good and does not have a job currently. Let's see what she's willing to take in terms
terms of a deal. Wages aren't important, but that's the baseline. It's a little more expensive than what we have now. She's got patience. She wants a long contract. I'm totally down for a long contract. Uh, a small signing fee. It's not important, so... Any signing on fee might be, you know, a boost to her. Let's make it 300000 And let's see, what's her high end? 336. That's a pretty good jump, uh, but it's not very important. So let's try 112. We're giving her the long contract she wants, and she's finding these things not important. So if we keep them minimal, actually, just keep all of them minimal. These should be big pluses. That's a plus. So maybe she'll accept a small contract. And even though it's a lot more than the $30,000 we are paying for Hoffel, it's a massive step up. Potentially. So we'll give that a shot. So looking for a staff improvement. Potentially a driver improvement, and then we'll get to headquarters soon enough. Okay, preseason start is coming. New brakes R&D facility for Haas, and we're on to car design. Most important day of the year. We had 15 million set aside. That gets us to 83. Now I want to invest pretty heavily. That we had a 3-2-3-3 three, three, three last season. I think we can really improve upon that. Uh, right off the bat, this Toyota looks pretty dang good on the engine supplier with a very strong, very strong on fuel and improvability, but not as much to the base stat. So do we want to then go to like Honda that's strong, very strong, but also has another 20 points? I'm not interested in the Mercedes because the improvability is weak. So that's nice. I want improvability because we're playing long term here. Come back to that. That's not set in stone. It's a lot of money though, by the way. $33 million already. Okay, fuel supplier. Uh, none of them are going to come out with what we really want. Uh, but fuel efficiency is probably going to be really important to us here. And Castrol. Look at that. That gets us to four. And it's cheaper than going with like Patronus. Material supplier, tire wear, tire heating. Uh, I do like a very strong, very strong option. A spec. And finally, brake supplier, tire wear, tire heating. Again, <laughs> here we go again. Uh, let's see. Don't have anything that's necessarily balanced. Uh, the heating is something you can kind of deal with. And we were two stars anyway a year ago, right? 
Look at what that could do for us. Now, this is expensive, $60 million package. But we're looking at, we were at three a year ago, two, three, and three. stat modifier though that's that's big I don't want to change that that's even more expensive so not better I like the fuel efficiency bonus the material supplier that's your possible savings how bad is it oh it's bad so that's money well spent The only cheaper option is a week week. That's still better than a year ago. And actually that balances out a little bit. The tire heating goes up. So do we want to save four million? Well, let's see what we do with the package here. Kind of like the improvability factor more than I like the tire heating. So let's go with the rear package pushing towards that. I was already good on fuel efficiency. I think I like having a little more tire wear, but neutral will do that for us. So no change to the nose height. The rear package. Boy, 60 million. That leaves us with 24 million, which is right where we ended the season. <laughs> we had 25 million at the end of the season. So that takes the money we set aside from last year's car plus everything that we got in prize money. with a much better chassis. So is that worth it? I'm wanting to say it is. Obviously the big change that we can make, we could save eight million right there. Let's see what that looks like. Fuel efficiency is actually boosted a good little bit, but it's that base stat modifier, right, that we're giving away. I like the improvability part. I think that base stat modifier is worth it. Let's do it. Let's do it. right financial background we save three billion so it actually ends up costing us less we have two million left from our prize money and investment for the year but we are going to get another investment right from the chairman so we still have one more round of money coming in based on where we think we'll finish for the year and i think we could do at least ninth if not better this season maybe eighth Okay, well, big step. Uh, it was a big step. Where are we now? Where are we now? Uh, Max Chilton. Replacing Valtteri Bottas. Second. Yeah, there you go. Replacing Valtteri Bottas. Wow. Uh, and Bottas going to Ferrari. And what is he going to do? It doesn't say here. It's Leclerc because Leclerc is going to Toro Rosso. It's a huge signing for them. Uh, 
Cassidy also going to Torosso, but he's replacing Galeal, so reserve. Williams get Robert Wickens. I don't know Wickens. He's 30. Uh, Albin going to Ferrari. And Latifi also going to Toro Rosso. So Toro Rosso and Ferrari, total shakeups of their lineup. Does that mean Vettel's out? Doesn't say. Uh, looks like we're going to have a contract renegotiation, but I'll come back to that in a moment. Continue to look at the young drivers. And finally, contract renegotiation. She wasn't happy, huh? Happy with everything else, but she's insulted here. That used two pieces of patience, meaning she really didn't like it, but I don't want to pay her a whole lot more. So we'll try the 134. Max Verstappen wants a renegotiation. So he didn't say, oh, hell no. Okay, neutral there. And not thrilled with this one. Seems like he's close to accepting, though, right? It looks like he's awfully close to accepting. He's a four and a half star right now. What? Hey Freya, still not happy. Another scouting report done. George Russell, how do they think? Wow, that is a terrible, I know he's still a prospect, but Russell is, if you've watched closely this season, most people don't pay attention to Williams because they're at the back of the grid. I do. He has been doing such an amazing drive this season. I, I am definitely a Russell fan, and that is a garbage rating. I forgot, forgot, yeah, 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 there you go, okay. Back to that renegotiation. Are you gonna price yourself out? Last chance, she's still massively insulted. But I don't wanna pay this. Let's bump this up, bump that up. I'm not desperate for a change on this. We'll know in a few days. More scouting done, we'll come back to it. We have a chance to get fuel efficiency plus one. Why not, right? Why not? Especially for that cost compared to what we have already invested. Even though that does knock us down a little bit further. Max renegotiation. Another scouting report done. Still willing to negotiate. We're on to the last chance. He's only uh, unhappy. I mean, he's not insulted. Uh, but obviously, we can't afford to go crazy. We're already almost to the max. 1.1. Yeah, there's the max. He has four and a half stars. Maybe we should go max. Maybe we should go max and do 36 months. Let's do that. 
We're going to try this. We're going to go Max, but he's got to sign long, uh, a longer deal. Doesn't go any higher than that, so... Oh, she accepted the offer. <sighs> okay. Yeah, look at that. A full star improvement over Hoffel. Makes sense. Makes sense. And considering we're taking home two and a half million per race, just about, we can afford to uh, get rid of this guy. Offer accepted. Offer accepted. You see that? Offer accepted. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, she's gonna work with Max. Now, uh, Sirotkin's making 125. While wow, Okan's making 672. So he's the obvious change. Sorry, Ocon. That's expensive. Oh, that's the new deal. This is going to cost me a lot. This is going to cost me a whole lot. It's a lot of money that we have to play with, but we're going to get the best driver, or second best driver in the sport. We've already seen how big of a difference the quality of the driver makes. In all, we're going to spend another 650000 per race from what we were spending before. But our marketability is going to be higher. And we were making about 2.3 to 2.5 million per race. So we're still making one and a half million a race. We're gonna come in with a better chassis, a better driver, better crew. Yeah. Whew, things are changing. Things are changing. I'm sorry, Ocon, I really like you. And you did, were not with the team for very long. Scouting is not a big deal anymore. <laughs> Ocon, okay, Ocon takes uh, first step and seat. Oh, I need to switch. Yeah, I need to switch these two. Why can't I swap driver right now? Because they're they're generating chemistry right now. I'd like to switch this. Not cool. Later. Later then. We'll do it later. It's okay. Provability. Oh man, I want to spend money on that. Oh, for fuel efficiency? Uh, what is the fuel efficiency at right now? Oh, it's max. So it would go 4-4. Four, four. That's actually a good trade-off. 
that's a good trade-off. And, and the fuel efficiency isn't that important. So let's do it. Go for it. Okay, that's a bunch of scouting. Let's get another wave going here. Ah, very important day. Very important day. Uh, he's having a secret affair. Okay, 18 weeks. That's pretty lengthy, actually. What is it affecting? Focus? Okay, three scouting reports done. Let's knock that off. Knock that out real quick. I can't wait to edit the livery because, you know, the uh, uh, word manner, only by name. <laughs> only by name. So we are going to go very much into a new design, and it's probably not going to be one of these base ones. Uh, and nor will it likely be these colors anymore, but I'll give these colors a shot. Okay, I'm um, not really seeing any difference between the primary and the other colors, even though they are all different from one another. Not sure if the mod is really pushing on some sort of base color that's... Ah, here we go. Here we're starting to get into some differences. That already looks way better, but that's Mercedes. Iron. There's Alpine. Might be switching up the colors here in a little bit, unless I find something that works. That's not bad, actually. That's not a bad design right there. That's kind of nice. Let's go around the other side where I can see. Let's go a little quicker. I'm going to make a decision before too long. Uh, I don't want to spend the whole episode in here playing around with this. It's interesting the way they're doing the color in there. There is a lot 
still in this pack. Uh, why don't I start with this? I'm changing the colors. Spending way too long going around here. Let's get a little more life into it. This direction. There we go. Okay. We go green. Why do we go green? Well, because I went to University of Oregon. I like green. Grew up in the northwestern part of the United States. I like green. It's a lot of trees. Fur trees. Uh, let's... No, you know what? We're going to go... No, you know what? Black's not going to work. Let's go with a blue. Too light, too light. I want blue with like a hint of green in it. Not an aqua, though. Okay, that's that's close. That's close enough. Okay, and then we have this mess. We need a little bit of life in here. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Uh, let's go with the orange, the traditional for the team. We'll keep a little orange and blue for them. See, there you go. The orange and blue still there. We'll keep the black trim. Now find something that works. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I got their blue and orange. I've got my green. 92. Almost not quite. I love that there's so many mods for this. So many choices. Ooh, oh, I like that. I like that. That's very green, though. That's not enough of a nod to the team. I want to keep a little bit of orange in there. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Can I live with this? That's enough of orange for a nod. Yeah, let's do it for this year. It'll work. I'll probably look for another one again next year. I like the helmet design too. Uh, oh, sponsors. Maybe I need to take the light sponsor color and go orange. There you go. And we'll keep the dark ones black. That's fine. <clears throat> Ta-da! That'll do it. Okay, I want to see where the car is at. How close are we? We're close. We're close. Okay. Ninety-two percent. Almost there. Ooh, brake supplier breakthrough. Coming up on that preseason testing, tire heating plus one. Yes, we can afford that, even though we can't afford that. <laughs> We're down to 11 million. We're going to start 
pretty low on the funds this season. We're not going to make a ton of upgrades. However, we're still going to have good money coming in race by race by race. We'll be okay. But we have an excellent chassis. We have the third best driver team now. The car is down to the worst at the moment, apparently. Audi, somehow above us. The staff is up to eighth. Preseason testing. Let's do it. Verstappen's focus down. Look at that. We're not last. We're not last. 16th and 20th right now. And not coming up with problems. 16th and 20th. Yeah. Points. Top 15. It's looking like we might be able to actually compete this season. We'll see. We have invested a ton of money into this car, into this driver lineup, into this staff for this season. Will it pay off? Rear wing's up to ninth. Still, the front wing's dropped from 10th to 12th this season. The engine's up to 11th. At least it's not last, but we are starting from the, the bottom. But look at that. We're right around a four-star average for the chassis when we were at two and three quarters a season ago. So the chassis is much better. I think we're... We're still we're in for a much better season than last season, but we've still got a lot of work to do. We're gonna set those targets. Mercedes leading the way. And let's see, what can we do? Uh, ninth we can absolutely do. I know we can do ninth. 2.3 million per race. I think that maybe needs to be where we set our target, because if we set 7th and don't achieve, we're going to be in trouble. So let's go with ninth. Oh, we didn't come with upfront money like it normally does in this game. Well then, so we start a little light, but it should be more money than we had a season ago. Yeah, we're still looking at a positive income right now and then sponsorship we'll have a deal coming open in just one race all right I'm gonna take care of the pit crew off camera and keep it up on everything else but we're looking good for the start of the year just nine days away I'll see you next time I'm Decathlon Gamer thanks for tuning in bye for now